I finally find the perfect solution for my Dobsonian. In this side of the yard, I wanted a Dobsonian because I have one Dobsonian 12 inch on the other side in that very dark area on the shadow of the building. But this side is in the <clears throat> light polluted area, street light and such things. So I needed a Dobsonian for observing planets and the moon. But this Dobsonian uh, 10 inch one was too short so I put originally a log there as you can see but that was again too small the three legs of the Dobsonian mount were coming out of it so I went for the water butt solution this water butt came to me for free and uh, it just had some cracks I repaired it with a heat glue gun and uh, now I can use it it's perfect size for this it's a 200 liter support water bottle stand and it can support my uh, Scott Watcher 10 inch Dobsonian and it comes at a, a lovely height for my use it rises around uh, I can say yeah, 40 to 45 um, centimeter, and that's uh, enough height. Uh, that is a uh, flex tube 250 can be a convenient height for me to stand or sit. Uh, I can stand when I'm observing near the zenith, the objects near the zenith, just right up. Uh, upward or at an angle like moon and planets at this time I can sit and just observe it so it really fits my uh, you know my use I was lucky I got this stuff so and before all this COVID and the chain supply problems from China and uh, anywhere else in the world so I got it second hand it was almost new I mean it was bought in June and I bought it in the yeah September I think the person probably had the same problem as the height problem so he wanted a bigger aperture and uh, this one was not giving him that aperture that he needed so I grabbed it but I also bought a 12 inch again second hand actually that 12 inch was cheaper than this one of course this was almost new so but very cheap cheaper than anything else I got it and uh, that's the way uh, I'm going to use it now. I think about this 370 and the Dobsonian big uh, 12 inch one, I got it around 310. And these ones are now probably two ice or three times the price. Uh, I mean, if you can find it 1000 pounds, you're lucky, but they don't have it usually. Uh, people are in the queue for 12 inch one, there is nothing, it's just one year, two year wait. And the 10 inch one is available, but uh, again, not all models. Uh, <coughs> this water bot solution solved this issue that people may have with a smaller Dapsonia. And as you can see now, I have near perfectly collimated it, so this is really good. I'm happy with that. Now that I have put the water bot and collimated, and then clean the telescope because it was in the storage uh, I have now been able to actually look through it for a while and uh, I'm looking forward to actually using it um, what is interesting in this uh, telescope compared to the 12 inch one is that there is a lead or cover for the mirror um, box a tube and something like a shower cap which is a uh, breathable for the actual aperture opening that's very interesting uh, and now well, probably you can use a shower cap for this one if you don't have in the 12 inch one I don't think 12 inch one comes with a cap for here but not that shower cap maybe I got it the way that it was modified by the owner so probably probably he lost this and he put this one on this top 
and also the one I got from the uh, 12 inch one it had also a shroud here practically uh, eliminating light and I modified also added a, a surround or halfway circular or crescent shaped or a quarter moon half a circle shape a velcro attachment around so I could attach a piece of black polythene here that saved a lot of you know the light pollution when I'm looking here it increases the contrast I can see deeper and darker objects and uh, with this one I've, I think I will do that but I'm um, going to use it mostly for moon and the planet so but that will be good because that will be, if I do that that will stop also a lot of dew forming on this uh, what I want also to add is that um, that other telescope was one year outside and after a year the base started to come off the paint and the wood chip thing and I changed the uh, base uh, lazy Susie here to a teflon one teflon base then also painted all of this all over with the hammerite paint metal hammerite paint that is made it practically bomb proof moisture proof and nothing can affect it anymore so that's perfect for that uh, if you if you want to keep it out think about getting a hammerite paint um, it's quite uh, valuable considering that this uh, chipboard bases easily rot in the moisture depending of course where you are in the world uh, where we are is uh, relatively damp is oceanic weather so it's better to keep it uh, moisture proof all in all nice telescope now at a good height as you can see I just can approach the telescope and with just a slight movement coming down slightly yet is not at the height of the Dapsonia, 12 inch Dapsonia, but it is much better I can easily reach the uh, eyepiece and observe without much you know stress on my back or my legs and uh, if I want to go for objects near the horizon that's easy to also maneuver so this water bath solution consider it if you want to use this telescope if you have bought this and if you want to use it comfortably think about the base for it what about what a good solution for me was cheap available I didn't need to do anything you know I just uh, covered the cracks with a hot glue hot plastic glue and when I'm not using it I will use uh, this uh, Greenwich uh, cover telescope cover it's really good material I don't think there is it's on sale anymore anything good you know believe in the uh, time that anything you buy now later you may not find it so this was about a second hand I was lucky I got it second hand also and it's really good cover it covers everything that I want I can add another layer I usually do it keeps it completely dry if I do another layer of it another layer I can buy this kind of you know uh, egg-shaped uh, uh, hanging seat covers from Aliexpress that's perfect for that it covers if it comes to the near the ground uh, I think it was 12 pounds 11 pounds or 17 something like that and you can get it uh, two layers you can add and that will keep it completely dry keeping it dry is important because the components uh, the wooden parts um, the base and the optical surfaces will keep drying uh, you know away from the moisture mold or anything like that that's really good for that it's like that you have an observatory of your own without having actually a permanent structure which takes the which has a footprint in your uh, in your property <laughs> 